Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make shrimp and grits. So let's get over here so I can show you our ingredients. Okay, right here I have this shrimp and this is the 2630 shrimp. This is celery and this is some andouille sausage, uh, chicken andouille. Now, you usually it's made with bacon, so you can use bacon or even ham, but I'm using the chicken andouille. And it has a little spice to it, so you're not going to need any um, black pepper unless you like it very spicy. Right here, I have a um, half of a red onion chopped up. These are grits. This is yellow grits, and they're not the quick cooking grits. Grits, And they are, this is a cup of grits. This is a, a whole yellow pepper diced up. I don't think I'm going to use all that. I don't want a real strong pepper taste. This is about four um, garlic cloves that I have chopped up. This right here is a half a teaspoon of thyme. If you have fresh thyme, go ahead and use that. This is some seasoning, just some all-purpose seasoning. Seasoning salt is fine. This right here is some smoked paprika. Right here, I have um, four tablespoons of butter. This right here is a cup of cream. You can use cream or half and half. And right there, I have um, four cups of chicken stock. So I'm going to start the grits first since the grits are going to take about 20 to 25 minutes. So let's get over to the stove. Okay, guys, what I have done is I have taken the chicken stock and added three cups of it to this pot, and it is boiling now, so I'm going to add a little bit of this butter. I'm going to add about three tablespoons. I have four tablespoons. I'm only going to add three. And then I'm going to grab the grits and pour this in here also. And they're going to start boiling really fast. You want to stir to keep them from getting lumped up. Now you can also use water. Um, there's always some question about polenta versus grits. They're the exact same thing. Um, they're stone ground corn. The only difference is usually uh, people make polenta with stock and cream and people make grits with water and cream or just pure cream but they're the same thing you go to a restaurant they just charge you triple the price when they call it polenta but yes grits and polenta same thing so I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn this down and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes before I add the cream Okay guys, this is the pan that I sauteed the uh, sausage off in. So I had a little bit of residual oil, but not a lot because it is chicken. So I added probably about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, probably about a tablespoon of um, grapeseed oil to that. And then I'm gonna add this butter. And melt that. Okay. And now I'm going to add the celery and the onions. And the pepper. And I'm just going to soften this a bit until it softens. Okay, while my vegetables are softening, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning on this shrimp. I'll put a little bit on the vegetables too. And I'm gonna put the thyme, can you guys see that I'm gonna put the thyme over there in those vegetables, but I just put some some of my seasoning, some all-purpose seasoning. You guys can use seasoning salt. And I'm gonna add the uh, paprika to this shrimp. And just let this hang out for a while, marinate until, um, I'm ready to put it over there with the mixture. Okay guys, the vegetables, they have softened a bit. So I'm gonna add this garlic. You don't wanna add the garlic when you put the vegetables in there because you don't want it to burn. Because the garlic gets really bitter when it burns. Okay. And I did put a little bit of the seasoning in there. And I'm going to add this shrimp. The shrimp does not take that long. 
kind of saute that for a minute. Put some color on it, and then I'm going to add the flour, and then I'm going to add some stock. Okay, I've been sauteing these shrimp for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add this flour. And I don't want to overcook my shrimp. And just cook this for just a couple minutes and then cook that flour taste off. And then I'm going to add the stock. Okay, guys. Shrimp are just about done. Let me add this stock. And make sure your stock or water is not hot when you're adding it it's too hot you want to add cold and we're just going to stir this and bring this to a boil let's check on our grits okay guys this is what it looks like let me put my sausage back in there and i'm gonna turn this down a bit because we got to go finish those grits up If you have some fresh parsley, throw some fresh parsley in there. I have dried, so I'm going to put some in there in a second. Okay, guys. This is what the grits are looking like. These are dinner grits. So we're going to add the cream. We just add that in there. And that, if you wanted to um, have cheese with your grits, now would be the time to add them. So you just stir that up. Now you can... Put the cream in at the same time as you do the um, water. I like to do it at the end. For some reason, it makes it more creamy to me. So I'm going to bring this. I'm not even going to let it boil. I'm just going to let this cook about five more minutes. And then I'm going to plate it up for you. Oh, let me let you see what the shrimp, the shrimp looks like. Okay, guys. This is what the grits are looking. I mean, not the grits. This is what the shrimp is looking like. I tasted it. I added a little, about a little bit more seasoning, and it's perfect. And I added some parsley. So I'm gonna plate this on top of our grits, our yellow grits. Those are yellow grits too. And I'm gonna place it on top of the grits so you can see how it looks plated up. Look how rich that is. And at the end, you can put one pat of butter, another pat of butter in there to make your uh sauce kind of glisten if you like and that makes it a little bit rich just like a like a half a tablespoon and it just glistens your uh your gravy up okay guys this is the finished product shrimp and grits and i tasted them and there is delicious it's creamy you don't need you actually don't need the cheese so you guys don't even worry about the cheese with the cream so please like comment and share there you go shrimp and grits you guys